today from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's the NFC Championship game. and the Green Bay Packers taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is what I'm talking about. NFL playoffs in Lambeau Field with a snowstorm camped out over the upper Midwest. Let's go. It's time for some great football in Green Bay. Coming up. It's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Always fun to get a peek at Tom Brady as he gets in place to command this offense for Tampa Bay. And Tom Brady is personally trying to do something that's never been done, and that's go to the Super Bowl for a tenth time. This will be the first time in a Tampa Bay Buccaneers uniform and just a second trip to the Super Bowl in franchise history. Tom Brady in championship games, conference championship games, nine and four all time. So if you're thinking about the pressure getting to him, Think again. He's handled it well before. Brady now on first down. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 18 more yards there and another first down. He's locked in early. Two nice first down completions to start. I like the fact that he's seeing the whole field early. Spreading it around a little bit in the early going. And this is caught at the 8. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Touchdown. Mike Evans, 28 yards. And the Bucs take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Veteran Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers ready to go for drive number one along with the rest of this Packer offense. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback, and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. 
Throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. Robert Tanyan was the one he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out. The next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen... And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown, Packers. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, 71 yards. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. We, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? On is Mason Crosby for the point after. Well, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the result, a Green Bay score. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. Oh, good move. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 24. -year Tampa line. Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tab and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he finally is out of bounds, but he's down inside the 20-yard line. And a Buccaneer first down. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Tom Brady with two first quarter touchdown passes and the Bucs have taken the lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They'll need to come from behind if they want to play in two weeks as they trail early in this NFC Championship game. 
Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. And we'll see if that pick six looms large as this game continues because we've seen plays like that alter a lot of playoff contests over the years. I would agree with that totally. And you often think to yourself, why do they alter it so much? Because after games, don't we hear coaches and players say, well, one play doesn't usually determine the outcome. But I don't think that's really true, do you? Because there's times when we see plays like that and all of a sudden the momentum jumps to that team side, it deflates the other side, and they never pick it back up and then things really go from there, don't they? That's the thing for me. We talk about momentum changes. A play like that is the ultimate momentum change. Bradley Ginyan to kick off for Tampa Bay. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From the 10. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 23. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount, here's his opportunity. All comes back to those defensive backs for the former, D, former DB, right? I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? <laughs> Rodgers now on first down. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker, and to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Really nice pick there for the reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week, and a good story on that. He said he didn't even know he won the award. His buddy had to call him. He saw it on television and said, hey, congratulations. How about that? And I'll bet you his buddy said, well, since you didn't know, I'll just go ahead and claim the award, right, and everything that goes along with it. But the reason he won the award the previous week and what we just saw there, instincts, understanding where the play is going and being able to make a play on the football. The throw there by Brady, intended for Gronkowski, but incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target, and now it's second down. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet, so they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. First down. Well, there it is, partner. Brady to Gronk, their first connection of the game. You think those two often in sync? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any question about it. And look, we know Gronk has a whole lot of fun, but he's deadly serious about his football, as is Tom Brady. Two great competitors, two fantastic players. Brady will try again on second down. His throw caught at about the five. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Cameron Bray, 32 yards. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it, it's scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. A drive there of just four plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Packers take over first and 10. 
at their own. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. They've got to be a little shell-shocked. Down double digits at home in the playoffs. Still in the first half. They've got to turn things around quickly. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 27. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Rogers, Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Rodgers again here on second and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's Mickens to return. Powers through. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And we shift the spotlighting Mike Evans. And any time a receiver's over 100 yards like he is, maybe the D coordinator's scratching his head a little bit. If you're the D coordinator, what are you doing? Whatever he's not doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's the best way to put it. But you have to treat him like the hot shooter in basketball, the guy that's just not missing. You run enough people at him to make him give up the ball in basketball. In this case, you've got to cover him with enough people that they throw the ball to someone else and make them beat you. He's going deep for Brown. And this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Antonio Brown, 81 yards. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot in a big game, their big playability. They can strike from anywhere. Ryan Extra point Succo try now for Succo. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Rodgers now on first down. Got a man. It's Tanyan complete. That catch good for only a couple. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. At the 27-yard line. Rodgers going to throw. This one complete to Tanyan underneath. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. 45, 45. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. 
It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I'm looking at this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Incomplete. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll punt it away for the second time. On the return is Mickens shedding through the defense. Rushing off defenders. He had his sights on the end zone, no doubt, but is brought down after a huge return there. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, let's see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. From midfield, here's Brady. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. He's still fighting forward, and he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play, Brady to Gronkowski, and even 50 yards. And in the run-up to this championship game, so much was made about how would this offense hold up on the road in a hostile environment? Well, that's not the definitive answer, but what a great first answer from them, that big play right there. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Tom Brady taking it in as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. I'd have to say we're all a little bit surprised there because at his age with his speed, or should I say lack thereof, the only rushing touchdowns I would expect are on quarterback sneaks, but here he found all of his guys covered. He said, why not? And by the way, if that doesn't fire up your team to see the veteran like that risking his body for the touchdown, I don't know what will. Suck up for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Well, it wasn't a one-play drive, but I think they'll take it. The scoring summary, two plays and into the end zone. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Packers 7. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. No gain on the play. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. 
Throwing on second down, Rodgers. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Got a man and he hits him in stride. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And you know, both of us gave these guys a real shot coming in here, but I don't think anyone <laughs> saw this on the road with this lead in the playoffs. This is They've looked good a lot of times this year, and this is probably as good as they've looked. Well, it's been a textbook game for them because what you talk about as a visiting team is putting the pressure on the home team. And what puts more pressure on a home team than to be behind the entire game because the home crowd's there really for a coronation. They expect to win, and when you're behind, it takes the crowd out of the game, and then the crowd gets a little bit uncomfortable, maybe a little bit frustrated with the home team, and that gives you an extra advantage. So they've done it perfectly. Big lead, put everything back on the home team, and they're capitalizing on it. Right now, that crowd, silent. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. Accelerating, and off he goes. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin, an 80-yard touchdown. And this Buccaneer offense, they're running away with this one. Partner, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big time Playing stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. And the route is on here in this first half. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score it. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. This taken in about four yards deep. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And this will be a Packers first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. First down, Rodgers. 
He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the white ball went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And a reminder, folks, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report coming up shortly. The coach with us, as always, as he will start to look ahead to Super Bowl 53. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. They'll go with Jones. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. And that's now the second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. So after the INT, it's Brady. Airing this one out for Evans. This is caught inside the 15. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Touchdown. Mike Evans saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Bucks offense continuing to pour it on. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. And the route is on here in this first half. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And with still more than a minute to go in the half, time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Uh, throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And an incomplete pass. Rodgers pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. To throw again, Rodgers. Flush to his right. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Rodgers now on third down. That's complete to Lazard. 
And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Here's J.K. Scott now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. And he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards second down. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. What half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis Trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, time to look ahead to the AFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills doing battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half, as one of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. To find out who, let's turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 30. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball, and we just saw there that that's difficult to do, but just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on, but the biggest one, hold on to the ball. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Brady. His throw caught right around the six. And the Bucs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Second and goal from the one. They'll give Fournette another crack. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. 
That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up fourth. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. He's good. Makes the score. Buccaneers 59. Packers 7. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Taken in the end zone and no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last right possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six yard pickup and it gets him to second and four. 37 yard line. A six yard pickup brings up second and four. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Extra point try now for Sucko. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one taken just inside the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't. He's got daylight. He's at the 30. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 68 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Well, 
Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. 45 to Mike. 45 to Mike. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that'll bring up a second and goal. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. They'll try again with Jones. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Shaquille Barrett drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. That's quite a stand there defensively. A huge sack on third down, and that's going to force him into a field goal attempt. So on now for the Packers is their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. 32-yard attempt. And the 13-year man puts it through. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Packers 10. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white flag? Waving the flag. You just want to get out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. First and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But you also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And now he'll turn and off his back foot, he'll heave this deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Throwing his Brady on third down. Open man is got what it's complete. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. With the score. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll go again to Jones. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Touchdown, Ronald Jones. 47 yards. And this Buccaneer offense is running away with this one. Well, Charles, fans around here, they were already talking Super Bowl. <laughs> They've made plans. You just can't look past anybody in this league, especially this deep into the playoffs. You would think that every year that message would sink in. And it feels like every year we see something like this, especially the way they're handling them. Ryan, all right? You, you didn't expect this part to happen. But when you're playing this deep into playoffs, every team's dangerous. Now, this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it's Ronald Jones that polishes it off with a touchdown run. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. 